Okay, hello guys, this is Rani Ahmed with you and in this video I'm going to explain to you how to use the uh, uh, GPS uh, dongle, this one I'm going to put its uh, AliExpress uh, link, okay so you can buy it, it's just I think as far as I remember it was like for $10 uh, I don't know now how much, okay uh, and it has also here like uh, uh, LED light so it can tell you uh, a green LED light, okay uh, when it's turned on, uh, just to uh, tell you that it is working. Okay, this is uh, like a accessory to your laptop. Okay, we can use it with a program called the uh, K Stars that you see here on the screen. Okay, uh, this way K Stars, which is a sky map, okay, which is which also uh, has the ability to connect to a telescope. Okay, and control that. Uh, the the motor of the telescope so it can be directed uh, toward any uh, place in the sky okay now I'm going to uh, uh, switch the camera to the, uh, at and make it uh, look at the laptop so you can see how it will uh, be installed and how it works okay okay now first of all um, we list our uh, USB devices because this one is a USB device so here it is a USB device as you see and of course it's written on it a GPS GLONASS okay uh, I know it's not that clear the, the writing but I'm but you can just approximate it okay and uh, f as you see that my uh, uh, laptop is just at the side of the veranda so I can uh, reach as much as it can from the satellites because uh, underneath uh, the ceiling of the veranda I can't uh, reach uh, and get GPS coordinates okay and we need and KSTARS the application KSTARS of course this is KSTARS here okay uh, needs the, uh, the GPS lo uh, location and coordinates uh, just to accurately uh, show you uh, the uh, star or the planet uh, in its place on the map okay this is part of its uh, astrometry okay now so we start with the following okay on the computer I am using Debian GNU Linux uh, Debian stretch version 9 which is version 9 of Debian so LS USB and list all my USBs now of course here I um, this one that I'm highlighting this one is this antenna okay so this one is this is this antenna okay which is the uh, mouse uh, antenna okay okay so as you see this is it of course here it is so now uh, now we uh, because I wanted to uh, the, issue, the main reason that I'm telling you about uh, uh, LS USB command okay this one okay is that I want you to see the difference when you uh, put the uh, uh, like uh, what, what what's the difference uh, with the presence of the uh, USB dongle when it's plugged in okay so now it's not plugged in so you can see the listing of your uh, USB devices okay and as I told you one is the uh, USB mouse and the rest is empty okay and now uh, this is just my microphone here there's nothing on the USB it's just uh, on the uh, mouse and the sound jack it's working now I'm I connected it okay so I just say wait another time that's USB so now this is second time so here it is okay this one it's right it's writing a new uh, new blocks okay AG now uh, be just because I want to reach uh, easier to the uh, sky so I can uh, connect to the GPS satellites uh, because this is where I in my place on my laptop is just directly below a uh, ceiling so it can't reach it, it needs an open sky just to get a, a GPS 
coordinates so I'm going to use this okay and uh, uh, and we're going to get uh, coordinates uh, because I want to put this in the open sky where I put my uh, USB dongle now I'm removing, removing it okay and plug it in with this extension cable and we're going to see what will happen here okay so we will put it somewhere it can give us uh, coordinates now yes uh, now it's dangling in the outside but I don't want it that far in the outside okay uh, keep the uh, uh, cover because the dongle is small okay keep everything uh, in a perfect place okay uh, that uh, doesn't get lost okay uh, I mean where it doesn't get lost and um, and yes now as long as it's connected you should find also when I say ls and list the file slash dev slash tty and press double tab and you should see this new uh, file okay listed in so it should be tty acm with a number the number starting from zero okay now we are this is the only because it's just a single dongle this is the one that we'll have here which is the acm zero okay the one that I'm clicking on it okay here okay now um, uh, you can see now see here it's blinking this means it's working okay now uh, the configuration is as follows okay I log in as uh, uh, I open my terminal with my normal username okay uh, which is currently here is Oracle so I think Oracle okay and uh, SU I type as you and uh, enter as root which is the administrator of the system okay and then I type VI uh, I edit the f the, the file okay but we are oh, sorry for this before that we have to install some applications which is app get install okay GPS D and GPSD clients okay we need those two Okay, GPSD is the one that will serve us the uh, coordinates okay and GPS uh, clients are some clients which can communicate with the GPS server that gives us the information which by itself talks with the, the GPSD the server talks to the uh, uh, satellite uh, satellites of the GPS okay now uh, now that it's installed okay because now it's installed if you uh, you will see here somewhere it tells you to okay here to put uh, press yes to enter so I can uh, download it first okay then you can install it okay so uh, Pico we edit this file with this uh, file editor called Pico slash etc default and GPS D use the tab key to, uh, to complete the names so, so it can ease the typing on you and then <coughs> press enter okay of course as we said we are using Debian uh, stretch version 9 of Debian uh, now uh, here it says whether you want GPSD to start uh, with the startup of your computer okay you just set the variable as true or false any line starting with a hashtag like this okay uh, this hashtag Okay, uh, it means that uh, uh, this line is ignored. Okay, it's just a comment. Okay, on what's going on below. Okay, and uh, here the setting for whether you want to start the demon, whether it's true or false. So this is the false line here. Okay, is uh, is now off, not working. The current one that's working is the true. Okay, start demon equals true. Okay, now here you say whether you want the uh, auto plugging of the USB to turn on the uh, GPSD. Okay, once you plug it in. Okay, 
So I let it through or false. Okay. Now, if you for just for, just in case you put it like this USB twice, okay, it will take the second one. Okay, USB also twice or any any line uh, that's having variable. Okay, the second variable will be take any second value. So it's like here it's saying USB auto will be equals to false. This means it's set as false. Then the next line says US, USB auto is set to true. This means it will take the last one, which is true. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it as uh, off because I don't want this way. Okay, and uh, the your device the. Uh, your device uh, is set on this file slash ttyacm0 this is the file that i'm going to read the data from it's not a real file like your word or excel files it's just a, a pointer to the uh, hardware okay where you can read the contents of the hardware okay uh, whatever the uh, hardware is providing you as a serial port okay a serial similar to a serial cable port okay and now we have to put those two options the uh, GPSD options uh, just to uh, I say just to force the GPS to work okay uh, promptly okay so I have to pump put minus B and minus N okay and then I imagine that I made a change okay uh, press Ctrl X okay and then uh, type Y okay and press enter don't mess with the name keep it as this then I say service GPSD restart okay now PID of GPSD to make sure that okay so there's an ID for it this means the GPSD is running up and running now to make sure that it's taking uh, reading data okay also my, I have to put my own username uh, in the group where I can read the uh, file uh, TTY ACM0 so this is what to do user mod minus a minus capital G you must add it as capital G not small g and type dial out this is the group that I should be belonging to my normal username and every user on your system that's not the user root okay which is uh, root is the administrator the one that you see over here okay okay so uh, dial out okay uh, now I should add myself to the dial out uh, group and type oracle which is my the, the normal username that I use for my everyday uh, use my everyday login and press enter okay now uh, you must log off and log out from the system by clicking here system and log out for example oracle okay and um, I log in again okay so you can uh, like run your account with the uh, a membership of a dial out okay because you must be belong to the to the dial out, the dial out group so yeah uh, so you can uh, use your uh, dongle as a username normal username okay and this is uh, what case uh, case needs okay now uh, just to test the connection with the satellites and the gps we type the commands okay cgps minus s and to quit the application you can just type uh, q okay now as we see it is uh, working okay and you see that we have latitude and longitude now uh, let me show you what will happen if i put my gps antenna to the inside because now the laptop is just at near the paranda see i have a okay uh, let me show you okay so this is this is my whole room Okay, the veranda and things like that. This is the the window. Okay, here yeah, everything. Just to make you sure, uh, understand that I'm just at the brim of my uh, at the edge of my uh, balcony. Okay, I'm putting my laptop at the edge of my bal balcony. But see if I put it the antenna just somewhere here in the middle. Okay, you see can still see updates. Okay but if I remove it or something like that it's it might take longer okay because it's now uh, to the uh, inside okay and sometimes it takes a uh, longer time because of the clouds okay now it's not that not that cloudy okay that's why I'm getting uh, updates okay um, 
so uh, this is it for uh, the testing and there's the other one which is where it comes with for testing uh, G X GPS it's the same okay so you can see the updates over here okay coming good now let's move on to case stars and what would, what should we do okay so I go here uh, first to get this uh, dialog box that you see we uh, go to tools go to devices and device manager and go down where it says here see the listing this is the, how the listing starts and then you go down to auxiliary okay it's just like this and then you kick it like that okay and we move down to uh, GPSD Okay. Now there's a GPS new uh, MEA that this will also use GPSD that we installed. Okay, uh, I talked about it in another video. Please uh, watch it. Okay, uh, you can use it. You can use this way uh, to use your mobile phone and uh, using the Wi-Fi connection to uh, collect the uh, and take the and read the connection the uh, coordinates of the GPS of your mobile phone. Okay. Uh, and it's way better than uh, this one because it won't be as accurate the reason is that uh, the accuracy is that it's uh, this one does not mean that your gps antenna is uh, right beneath where uh, or right on where the uh, telescope is sitting okay uh, in the mobile phone method you can just put the phone and using wi-fi and put the phone where the telescope is okay now I go to GPSD and click local okay and click start uh, uh, services is run okay so I just okay uh, I stop service I run service again and just type connect okay and we'll do a GPS fix in progress okay I put the antenna see outside okay once I put it outside right on it would it gave me a connection okay with a satellite I got a, a GPS okay and I can close it okay and this way I can I'm, I'm getting the time and everything close and then I can just simply go to my uh, telescope select my telescope and start uh, working on my telescope okay and uh, that's it and then again for, for example I can go to uh, find the moon and set, set as details and then say center a map and uh, you can just find the moon okay here it is cool this is the moon it's pointing where the moon is okay I can later if I want to just right click on it and use the uh, the Alex uh, 16 for my laptop for my mo I mean for my telescope which is my Alex uh, 216 inch and then just uh, use it through this menu to uh, direct or move the telescope tube towards the uh, moon okay and take images of it so I hope that you enjoyed this uh, video okay and uh, yeah I hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, please subscribe to my channel okay and uh, thanks for watching guys and I really really appreciate the work of the guy who made it uh, made this application happen uh, Mr. Jassim uh, Mutlaq okay bye